All right, guys, my name is Shervin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the fact that the stock market is crashing like crazy. Now, this week, the S&P 500 reached a new bear market low, while the Dow Jones also dropped a significant amount. And of course, the main reason for this happening was that so many different blue chip stocks were losing their value consistently over the last couple of weeks. Now, when you couple that with the fact that the experts claim there is a 98% chance we're in a recession right now, it almost seems like all hope is lost and the markets are about to go into a downward spiral, at least for the short term. Which brings us to question, what are the best ways to make money during the stock market crash? Now, if you watch the end of this video, we're going to go over a number of different investment opportunities and strategies that'll keep making you money, even during such uncertain times in the market. And all that I ask for in return is that if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video, then make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and join the community. I make new videos about personal finance and investing on a regular basis. And by subscribing to my channel, you get to see all my new videos right as they come up. Also, if you find the video useful and want to support me even more, then do me a favor and smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. But all right, with all that said, let's get into the best investment types during such uncertain times in the market. Now, we are first going to start with GICs or Guaranteed Investment Certificates. Now, the idea behind the GIC is that you lock away your money for a specific amount of time. And after that term is over, you get your entire money back plus interest. Now, given that GICs are a risk-free type of investment, where as the name suggests, you're guaranteed to get your money plus the interest, they usually don't offer high interest rates. Because remember, when it comes to investing, the higher the risk, the higher the reward and vice versa. But right now, due to the fact that the interest rates imposed by the Bank of Canada are so high, the interest rates offered by GICs are actually higher than what they usually are. In fact, right now, the GICs offered by Tangerine offer a 4.7% interest on a one-year term, which again, for a risk-free type of investment, this is an amazing return on just a one-year term, which is why if you want to avoid all this uncertainty in the market and just go with something that's a safe investment, but also yields a decent return, you can just go with the Tangerine GIC and get 4.7% on your money within one year. Now, another good investing option during a troubled stock market is investing into bonds. Now, bonds are low risk types of investment, but they're not entirely risk free. In fact, all different bonds are categorized by how risky they are and the riskier they are, the more they pay. Now, a bond in essence is like a lending contract where you agree to lend your money to a company or a governing body for a specific amount of time. And in return, they agree to give you a specific amount of interest. And as long as that company doesn't go bankrupt, you're guaranteed to get all your money back plus all the interest. But of course, if they do go bankrupt, then you don't get anything. Hence, you know, all the risk. But again, you could opt to go for less riskier option, which again, due to the high interest rates in Canada, you would still get a decent interest rate out of it as well. Now, next up, we gotta talk about cash because having enough cash stored away in an emergency fund is probably one of the most important things to do during such uncertain times. Again, a market crash or a recession could lead to a lot of things such as job layoffs or a high inflation rate, which basically means that you have to pay a lot more just to live the way you normally do, which means that now more than ever, you gotta make sure that you have at least six months of your expenses saved up in an emergency fund in a high interest savings account. And of course, you can still get a decent interest rate from a high interest savings account, which means that you're still making money from the money that you've saved up for emergencies. In fact, right now, the Motive Financial Savvy account is offering 3% interest rate on all the money that you have saved up in your account. Now, unfortunately, this is not a bank account that offers a lot of flexibility. In fact, I made a full video about this account, which you can check out right here. But if having flexibility and easy access to your funds is important to you, then you could opt to instead go with either the Neo Financial Money account or the EQ Bank Savings account. Now, both of these bank accounts are free to own, offer unlimited transactions and are very easy to use. And right now, as of this recording, Neo Financial offers 2.25% interest rate and the EQ Bank Savings account offers 2% interest rate which are both granted slightly lower than what Motive Financial is offering, but I just like these accounts better because they offer a lot more flexibility. And again, 2.25% is pretty close to 3%, so it's not that big a difference anyways. Now, as always, if you're interested in checking out any of these accounts, I'll leave my referral links to them down below in the description so that they will take you right to the website. And you'd also be supporting the channel in the meantime, which I always appreciate. But with that said, if you don't have any of these accounts, definitely check them out because these are the highest interest rates you can get from any savings accounts across Canada. And if you're putting aside about six months of your expenses as an emergency fund in a savings account, then you might as well get the highest amount of interest on that money as possible. So do check them out and start building your emergency fund as soon as possible. 
Now, last but not least, we got to talk about investing for the long term, because even though it may not do much for you in the short term, this is definitely the time to take advantage of the lower prices in the market so that you can get the most amount of return over the long period. Now, as we've discussed before, over the long term, the value of the market always goes up. In fact, if you look at the history of the S&P 500, there is not a single 20 year period where the value of the S&P 500 did not go up. Which means that if you buy into the market consistently and just hold on to that investment for the long term, you're going to do pretty well. Now you may ask, well, if the market is likely to go down in value, then why should I invest right now? Why shouldn't I wait for it to go down even further? Now, there are a couple of ways to answer this question. First is that we don't know for sure that the market is going to go down. For all we know, this could be the low point. It might just stick around at this price point for a while and then just go back up. But even if it does go down, the thing is, we don't know how far it's going to go down and how long it's going to keep going down for. Now, for example, let's say that right now you can buy one share of an S&P 500 ETF for $100. If you don't buy into that investment today, the thing is, you don't know how much it's going to go down for. Is it going to keep going down until it hits $97 and then go back up? Or is it going to keep going down until it hits $85? There's just no way to know. And we also don't know how long it's going to keep going down for. Which means that the best way to go about investing into this ETF is by implementing a strategy known as dollar cost averaging. Now, this means that you keep buying into the market at a specific amount and you do it consistently. For example, you can invest $100 a week or $200 a month or whatever you want to invest. As long as you're doing it regularly and consistently, what ends up happening is you end up averaging the amount it costs you to buy one share of this ETF. So if the first month it costs you $100 a share and the second month it costs you, let's say, $80 a share, you essentially ended up averaging out the price of the share to $90. And the best thing about investing consistently is that it doesn't matter what happens to the market or where the low point is. Because you're always just going to be averaging out the price of buying that ETF. And at the end of the day, no matter what happens with the market, you're going to get a good deal. And specifically, if you're investing for the long term, 20 years from now, the value of the S&P 500 is going to be a lot more than it is today. So you get to buy it at an average lower cost right now and hold on to it for the long term. Now, again, there is no guarantee that this will make you money in the short term. But for the long term, this is a great investment opportunity and you can buy into it for a discount. So instead of being fearful of the market, like the majority of people out there, try to see the opportunity here. And again, you don't have to invest tons, just whatever you want to invest for the long term. And in fact, if you do a mix of all of these different investment opportunities that we talked about in this video, you get to have money coming in for the short term and you also have money invested for the long term. So you basically get to have the best of both worlds, both money coming in right now and also money invested for long term gains. Now, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I post there regularly. So if you want to be a part of it there, make sure you're following me there. And as always, if you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about in this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I always respond to every single question that comes in. And now with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.